hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk a little bit about issues surrounding weight loss because they don't know you have a lot of persons who you know they view weight the topic of weight as a very sensitive topic and today i wanted to talk a little bit about it and um as i said before this channel is really to raise awareness and you know to educate people about you know proper nutrition taking care of themselves loving themselves to the fullest keeping you guys motivated as well because i don't know if you're not motivated and if you lack confidence you're not gonna have the drive or the willpower to do certain things and take charge of your life and stuff like that so this channel is really about that it's really about positivity it's about growth it's about a journey to a healthier you you know a healthier you both physically spiritually and mentally so this channel is all about that so as i was saying about weight loss now our weight gain our weight management I want to talk a little bit about gaining weight, the weight gain. A lot of persons, them have a problem with losing weight, right? Them constantly gain weight, gain weight, gain weight, and they say, why me I eat so much healthy food and I still not lose the weight? Because you have people who actually eat healthy you know, and it just not work out for them. And it can be other factors in it. Now, after the way I eat, you know, it can be things were wrong with your body internally and you're not aware of it. You understand? So the moment that you become very educated and sensitized about it, then yeah, you can say, all right, you really are going to do something about your situation. The first thing that causes people to gain weight, it can be a poor dieting. If you're not eat right, if you're not eat on time, because you have people who eat healthy, you know, but them don't eat right. Meaning, say, you not eat on time. How you supposed to eat or how you pair your food them together. You not pair your food them properly and eat them. Because you have some people where eat good where that really happen to, but them not eat right. You understand? Also, you have the people that will eat bad too. The people that will eat whole well processed food. The people that will eat the whole well fast food. The Burger King, the KFC, the this, the that. The whole well heap snacks and them something there. You don't know, have a problem for lose weight as well because you know, put all of the processed food there, all of them chemicals there, all of them something there now on the body. So it's a good cause you know, for hard for lose weight. If you have an underactive thyroid, that can cause you to put on weight as well. This is where the thyroid gland is not producing enough hormone. So you know so that's going to end up cause you to develop other hormone problems. And when this happens, it slows down your metabolism. So if you have an underactive thyroid, you need to go to your doctor and check it out. And you know, start the process of sorting out that problem because if you don't deal with that problem then you're going to want to lose weight and you just not lose the weight you understand people who depend on diabetes medication as well can find it hard to lose weight like people who are take insulin guys never mind the bike i'm in the park so you know you're going to hear a little bit of distraction but the pay that no mind just listen to everything with me i see as I was saying, people who take the insulin, it can make you put on weight as well. And not only that too, you have people who not take insulin in a them skin, you know. You have people who take the pill and it make them lose weight. Because me know people who take the insulin pill and it make them maga and they have to stop taking it. So that can be a reason for your, you know, your weight discrepancy. Aging as well. When a lot of persons are getting older into age, some of them might tend to become less active. And you know, so once they become less active, the muscles them are going to start break down into fat. And then it's going to add for the weight to come off of you. So you have to ensure say, you remain active no matter what. You could have been 40, 50, 60, 100, still do your look work in them. If you can do your two look or push up, you do your two look or push up. If you can walk in at the back of your house, come back to the top of your house, you do it. 
still remain active. Being active is a very, very critical part in terms of losing weight. So you have to do that. Next thing too, I really want to stress upon this. The people them who stress. People who have stress and anxiety problems. This can cause you to get fat. Because when you stress, a lot of persons tend to cope with stress by eating a lot. So you see when them eat a whole heap of food, them tend to put on weight. And a stress is stress, you know, why you eat so much, you know. It's like you're not even know when you're belly full, you just a eat. But yeah, that happened to you because I really stress your stress. You understand? So people like those now, they have to be very careful at how they might eat. And you have to find other means and ways to distract yourself from not eating so much when you're stress. Like walking, exercising, finding a hobby to do or something. Because if you're not be careful, you're gonna be like Jonah Wheel so and it not look good. Nowadays the Jonah Wheel lifestyle people it not work out. It don't look good. So anything where you can do right now for take up your health in your hand, you have to do it. Cause at the end of the day, we don't want to wait until when time we reach all 50, 60, 48, 50 them age there. We have to start taking care of ourselves. We have to start taking care of our body from now. Because sickness start manifesting in your body from your young. Sickness not start manifesting when time you reach old age. You start get sick from your young, but you don't know because the signs not show until you reach a certain age where your metabolism slow down and then the effects them start show. You understand what I say? So I have to be mindful of those things. In addition to that, tiredness can cause you to put on weight because you have some people who have difficulty sleeping. You see, when you have difficulty sleeping, that will affect you. Because remember, say rest is very important and your body needs rest to recuperate and rejuvenate and come back fully ready the next day. Now, if you not get enough rest, you know, that will affect your body, you know. It affects your leptin levels. In another discussion, I'm going to explain what are leptin levels. You understand? When that affects you now, that will make you can sleep at night time. And also, when you need to come off on the phone at night time. The people that will ever depend on the Facebook at night time, the Instagram, the WhatsApp, everything. You see, when a time for guy your bed, a time for guy your bed, and ensure say you try your best to get as much sleep as possible. Your eight hours sleep is very, very important. Because when you don't get no rest, you know, your body can't fully function the next day, you know, and people don't understand them so you know. Your body is not a machine. We're supposed to rest, rejuvenate, revitalize, and come back again. Come off on the phone, go on the bed at night time. If you can't sleep at night time, find a book and read. Take a warm bath. Listen to some, listen to some soft music or something until you fall asleep. Stop stay up on the phone them for the four and the five and the six hour at night and go on the bed. You understand? We need to take that serious. Also, fluid retention can cause you to put on weight as well. Fluid retention, you can get fluid retention maybe because you have to take medication. Certain medication we have to take for other illnesses we have. Fluid retention now, your foot can swell up. Your, your, your joints them can swell and um, your neck, your face and other areas of your body can swell up so we have to be mindful of these things as well and also PCOS can make you put on weight ladies PCOS are really for the ladies them this is polycystic ovary syndrome this can make you put on weight symptoms of PCOS include like irregular period trouble getting pregnant excess hair growth weight gain among other symptoms and we normally get PCOS because our body having too much hormone in it ladies I'm going to tell you no, I look a secret you see we don't understand you see when we eat a lot of meat remember you know me not tell you know, say we don't have to eat meat, you know, because we don't have to take my advice, you know. But we just share a little secret with you. Remember, say, you know, our body already produces estrogen, you know. We're naturally made for produce estrogen, right? You see, when time we eat the excess meat, meat in excess, 
all different type of meat what that does that increase the estrogen in our body so we we'll end up have excess estrogen and when the body have excess estrogen now the excess estrogen they the inner the body and start linger and start cause other problems such as um fibroid problem no woman may know a fibroid problem them have ovarian cysts them have breast cancer ovarian cancer all these different type of cancers and why we have this problem is because the body full of too much hormone too much excess hormone I will get the excess hormones then based on the things that we are eat. So if you can cut back by your meat eating, I will advise you to cut back by your meat eating. Endometriosis is, is one of the problems too because of the hormones them, the unbalanced hormones them. If you eat a whole heap of dairy products, you have to cut out dairy products out of your diet because it's not good for you. You see dairy, dairy and mucus building food. Mucus building food cause the body to have a whole heap of complication. It's not good for it. But as I tell you, me I tell you, you know, must stop eating. You know. It's up to you and your body goes when you try to aim towards me. Just go to the best advice when me can go. You, know. you understand? So, the whole heap of cheese and the whole heap of milk, you have to cut back on them something there. And the whole heap of sugar food. The way I eat, we have the refined sugar, the fructose, and the sucrose, it's dangerous. You see, if people were more enlightened about nutrition and the things that we eat, trust me, people would be more mindful of what they are putting at them body. And because no light, no really a shed for nutrition still, you know, you know, really, you know, nobody really a debate for nutrition and them something there, you know. Nobody not really a talk about it. But it is a big problem and it really affects you because when you take it out, look now. Most of the young people them nowadays we are dead from cancer. We are dead from diabetes. All sorts of something. Gone are the days when old people alone used to have them sickness there. Look what young people you see are sick now. Doctor can't even find them complaint. Things wrong with them. Young people mad. All sorts of something. What do you think I cause them problem here? Yeah? And the things that we are putting in our body that we don't know about. So if you want to edify yourself and say why anything where me are putting in my body now, you know, me have to be mindful like it now, you know. You're going to develop sickness later on in your life and then you have to live for medication. And that's another topic where me are going to talk about because when me realize, you know, you see when time you're sick with all diabetes and them something there, the first thing a doctor do is prescribe medication give you to suppress your problem, you know. Them not get to the root of your problem and tell you, say, boy, you need to change your lifestyle, you know, so you can reverse your condition, you know. Because a lot of these illnesses where people have nowadays are illnesses that can be reversed. But because we not edify ourselves about certain things, we don't know how to reverse your condition. And because of the whole heap of bad food, them we are eating, you know, we're not supposed to eat, you know. And them something they are mash up your body, you know. But as I tell you, you see, if you don't want to get better, healthy, mentally, spiritually, and physically, you don't have to take up your health in your own. And your health is your personal responsibility. You can't sit down and depend on your fitness trainer to make you get healthy or make you eat properly. It is your responsibility. You have to get up and tell yourself, say, boy, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm going to take this serious. And I'm going to do what I need to do. And the next thing, too. You don't need to do everything one time. You can take it in stages. You understand what I mean? You don't have to cut off of everything one time. You cut off of the things that you know no good for you. Little, 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 little. Because remember, say, it is a process, you know, it is a journey. So this one is something where you need to put a lot of pressure on yourself to say, boy, you can stop eating this, you can stop eating that one time. It's a process. And you have to take it slow. You understand? It's a journey where you have to take on. Me never start get um healthy and start be so conscious about health all at once. It did take me some time. And while I was transitioning into becoming this health free, to be honest with you, know, it feels so good. It makes me feel so good for myself. You understand? Me feel happier. Me sleep better at night time. Me skin pretty. I have the whole heap of sickness and 
no holy for ailments and me not, me not forget a doctor for no, for no condition and none of them something there. Because I try my best to stay up on top of the game with my nutrition. I try my best to exercise. I try my best to get enough rest. I try my best for no stress. It's hard, but we have to try, people. We have to try. Guys, thanks again for watching. There will be a part two of this series where I'll discuss how to transition into better diet and management of your weight and all of those things. So